find and memorize locations of fire extinguishers, exits, and hose reels in your workplace. Fire hoses should only be used by properly trained personnel wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. Minor fire outbreaks can spread very quickly. Don't endanger yourself when trying to put out a fire. Evacuate if you are at risk. Don't attempt to put out a fire that is getting out of control. It's vital to use the correct fire extinguisher for the type of fire you are facing. Later model extinguishers display green picture labels, which indicate the types of fires for which they are suitable. Fire extinguishers are red and are colour-coded with a band that indicates the type of substance they contain. Water extinguishers are all red in colour. Foam extinguishers are colour-coded with a blue band. Dry chemical powder extinguishers are colour-coded with a white band. Wet chemical extinguishers are colour-coded with an oatmeal band. And carbon dioxide extinguishers are colour-coded with a black band. Fires are classified according to the materials that are burning. Class A fires involve ordinary combustibles such as wood, paper, textiles and many plastics. All extinguishers can be used on these fires. Water and other liquid extinguishers are most effective, while carbon dioxide extinguishers are less effective. Class B fires involve flammable liquids such as petrol, kerosene, alcohol, oil and paint thinners. Many plastics can also be included in this class. Foam, carbon dioxide and dry chemical powder extinguishers are suitable for these fires. Do not use water or wet chemical extinguishers on Class B fires. Class C fires involve flammable gases such as LPG, butane, acetylene, hydrogen, natural gas and methane. Shut off the supply of gas if it is safe to do so before attempting to extinguish a Class C fire. Use dry chemical powder extinguishers on these fires. Class D fires involve combustible metals including potassium, sodium, lithium, aluminium, magnesium and metal swarf. These fires can react violently with water or other chemicals. Only Class D dry chemical extinguishers can be used on fires that involve combustible metals. Class E refers to fires involving energised electrical equipment or live electricity. In fires involving energised electrical equipment, the extinguishing medium must be electrically non-conductive. Once live electricity has been removed from a fire, its class is determined by the material that fuels the fire. For example, a paper fire that was ignited by an electrical fault will be considered a Class A fire after the electricity has been removed. Turn off or disconnect power before attempting to extinguish a fire with electricity present, if it is safe to do so. If you cannot remove electricity, dry chemical powder or carbon dioxide extinguishers can be used on these fires. Do not use water or foam extinguishers where electricity is present. Water and foam are good conductors of electricity and will put you at risk of electrocution. Class F fires involve cooking oils or fats. Wet chemical, carbon dioxide and some dry chemical powder extinguishers can be used on these fires. If the fire extinguisher you choose has a gauge, check that it is full. Approach the fire with care. You should be accompanied 
and ensure that you have a clear exit behind you. Follow the pass code to ensure that you use the extinguisher correctly. Pull the pin on the handle to ready the extinguisher for use. Aim the extinguisher nozzle at the base of the flames. Squeeze the trigger while holding the extinguisher upright. Sweep the nozzle from side to side, covering the area with the extinguishing agent. A fire extinguisher only discharges for a short time. If the fire does not extinguish quickly, be prepared to evacuate. 